Okay, so in this video I want to talk about a passage in Psalm 19 that I haven't really seen many uh, YouTubers uh, talk about. And um, you know, many people have touched on Psalm 19 verse 1, which says, The heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament showeth his handiwork. But I want to like focus on um, Psalm 19 verse 4 through 6. Okay, let's have a read here. So it says, Their line has gone out through all the earth, and their words to the end of the world. In them have he set, set, pardon me guys, in them have he set a tabernacle for the sun, which is as a bridegroom coming out of his chamber, and rejoiceth as a strong man to run a race. His going forth is from the end of the heaven, and his circuit unto the ends of it, and there is nothing hid from the heat thereof. So if we take a look at this, it says, in them have he set a tabernacle for the sun. Okay, so, which is, so it's referring to the sun here, okay? okay? So just keep that, keep that in mind, just remember that. So his chamber, so referring to the sun again, and rejoiceth as a strong man to run a race. And so it says here, what it says, his, is referring to the sun again. His going forth is from the end of the heaven, and his circuit, so kind of like a racetrack, you know, um, a circuit, basically you start off somewhere and then you go around and then you come back to the same place where you started, right? So the reason why this is evidence for a for the flat earth and for the flat earth model is because his going forth is referring to the sun moving forth. His circuit, okay, so it's referring to the sun going round the circuit like a racetrack, you start off at the start line, you go round the circuit, and then you finish where you started, okay? On the flat earth model, you have the um, sun and the moon going round, kind of like kind of like a clock. You have the, the big hand being the sun, and you have the small hand being the moon, right? So they, And they go round, right? But you, you'll probably say, um, many of you will probably say, Oh, that's the book of Psalms, yeah, that's just poetry. Well, if we take a look at uh, Joshua chapter 10 here, and if we scroll down to um, verse 12, it says, Then spake Joshua to the Lord in the day when the Lord delivered up the Amorites before the children of Israel. And he said in the sight of Israel, Sun, stand now still upon Gibeon, and now moon in the valley of Igeron. So, if we take a look here, Joshua is saying, Sun, he said, he's speaking to the sun. He said, Sun, S U N, by the way, sun, stand now still. Now, he's not saying earth, stand still, stop spinning, you know what I mean? He's saying, sun, stand still, stand now still. That means the sun was moving because Joshua told it to stand still, and that meant that, that the moon was moving because Joshua told it to stay. He told it to stand still, okay? The earth is already still. The earth is fixed. It is immovable. So he's telling the sun and the moon to stop moving. He's, he's not saying to the earth stand still. He's saying to the sun and the moon stand still. It also says, So the sun stood still in the midst of heaven and hasted not to go down about a whole day. I'm sorry, guys. I think I, uh mispronounced um, this word here. Um, I think it's pronounced Agilon, and um, I mistakenly said Agilon, so I do apologize for that. I accidentally, uh, I think I mispronounced the word, so Agilon, I, I think it's, I think that's how you pronounce it. And if we take a look at Ecclesiastes chapter 1 verse 5, just in case that's, that's not enough for you guys, um, it says, the sun also ariseth, and the sun goeth down, and hasteth to his place where he arose. So again, it's referring to the sun moving, because it says, and hasteth, basically it means, um, hasteth basically means to be quick, you know, quick about it, you know. So he's quick, quickly goes to his place where he arose, okay. So now I want to have a look at this, I want you guys to have a look at this, uh, video. Um, now, I don't promote Rob Steber. Um, he's a fraud, he's a liar, he's a deceiver. Okay, and
and I want to give a shout out to The Earth is Flat, his YouTube channel, he does very good work, and uh, he made a very good video um, exposing Rob Skiba with many other um, so-called preachers and pastors, uh, he did a really good job exposing this man. Um, so here it is, yeah, so don't, don't, uh, don't follow this guy, he's a liar, um, but, you know, he does speak some truth, but then, you know, he mixes truth with lies, okay, so, but anyway, let's take a look at this video, and I just want to show you, basically, how the sun and the moon work on the flat earth model, okay. So, right now, you can see the sun and the moon, again, like, like a sped up, uh, clock here, I mean, this is fast forward, uh, this is fast forwarded, so, it's a little bit quicker, but it's kind of like a clock, you know, you've got the sun moving around, basically the minute hand, and then you've got the hour hand, the small hand, being the moon, you know, sl it looks like it's going slower, in fact, it is going slower, the sun's going faster, and the moon's going a lot slower, so it's kind of like the minute hand being the sun, and the hour hand being the moon, okay, so that's how it works, and these three passages of scripture, you know, Psalm 19, verse 4 through 6, Joshua chapter 10, verse 12 and 13, and Ecclesiastes chapter 1 verse 5 completely prove that the earth is flat because the Bible is true everything that's in the Bible is true okay and the ball earth is a lie it's a hoax okay I hope this video helped um, thank you for watching and bye and brought them out and said sirs what must I do to be saved and they said Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved, and thy house.